tonight. Um, hello everyone. So we've got the game of uh, Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. Every time I bought episode two, so I already bought the game. I already bought the episode now. So yeah, I'm just using more difficult to the game, even though it's just the type of game for you. By the way, we're still gonna have fun. And, yeah. So let's start, shall we? Show me. I mean, I already completed episode 2, but then I wanted to do the polar version because, uh, you know. I wanna make it more simple. talking about photography or have you done something wrong talk to me hey victoria what do you want max i see everything here at blackwell do you understand what i'm saying no and leave me alone for reals warren this is between you and me don't insult me max go on hey leave him alone Shit. max chloe it makes perfect sense i'd see you today welcome home max that's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia without a word, without me. Something happened to her. Wait, is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. Oh, no. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. What a great way to start the game. First thing first, you have to press the snuzz button so you can actually, uh, you know, receive the reward on the evening. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. I don't want to. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like, no time has passed. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this Oh! Oh! What the hell is that? We're open. Other. Okay. I don't wanna. I'm just joking. All right, let's talk to Kate. So Kate can be back in our life. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. 
<laughs> Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. Oh. I'll bring it by later. Absolutely. Absolutely. Alright, uh I'm not a pervert, okay? I don't wanna I don't want to see her naked too. <laughs> but yeah, having a uh what a cold shower or hot hot shower. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go with hot a cold shower. Because you know, it's really hot in here right now and uh cold shower is definitely needed. It's mandatory. What is this? What's up, Kate? Not Taylor Swift cool. and some sixty girl. That's it. That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up. And you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Oh my god. No, yeah, yeah, no. I still have goddamn paint all over my face. Good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate. Or Max. <sighs> She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Anyway, let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> he will the same taking a bath. I'm a evil. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Alright. We're gonna go to our uh, room. Here we are in our room. Nobody messages me. Oh my god, I forgot uh, about No me. fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Alright, I think we have to change first, shall we? So actually, the, bo the book is actually here. We're looking for it. Of course you just spilled soda on Kate's book. What? Better fix this oh, fast. How long Kate needs the book and. Oh, please, please don't tell me this. We're gonna have some lag. <sighs> of course, you just spilled soda on Kate's book. Better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Oh, finally, okay. Because last time when I tried to play the game, it was really laggy. I mean, it was not laggy, I mean... Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. When I play the game. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time.
Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I Kate? You in there? Yes, I'm here. Come in, Matt. Um, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would, but it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Yeah. What about this video? And I swear I haven't watched it. I can't even watch it, Max. I oh. won't either. Thank you, Max. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine. And then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm, I'm listening. With... Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And, and... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Alright. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? I gotta look for If you do that, they won't believe you. You're on video grabbing at all those guys and they'll use that against you. Bad. But I know I was drugged. That's what you have to prove, not them. I'm just telling you how the cops in school will look at this. The video doesn't exactly back you up. You make me feel so hopeless. No, no, Kate. I just uh, don't want you to get hurt anymore. That seems impossible at this point. So that's your answer? I, I think we should wait. There are other things going on that might help you. But not right now. So I can walk down the halls with people calling me a viral slut. Thanks, Max. Oh my gosh. Your action will have consequences. <laughs> no, this is not funny. Good job, Dr. Max. She didn't like what I had to say, but we need more proof of what happened.
Whatever, I don't want I don't want to read all of it. I have no time, Warren. Please, Warren, just let. What are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call. I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. That was intense. Everything happened so fast. I owe you. Oh yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was. Awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. Aww. I just feel like escaping. I feel bad rejecting it. Be a damn dirty human. I'll go ape myself. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. The vibes get. Hold on, I have that net. Don't you? I think it depends on the mood I feel. When it comes to school, I don't really bring my earphone that much. I get when I want to watch a video. But when it comes to the music, I don't think it's going to school because I don't want to get distracted. Uh, this is for me. But, you know, when it comes to the same thing, like I said, I only need to go Because, you know, when it comes to this, it's going to be instead going to be uh, you know, any show content to skip the Dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. 
Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. That is, has like a huge Twin Peak vibe. Amazing. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. Why is she running mm -hmm. late? Makes me feel 13 again. She is a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. Very stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call... Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved yeah. forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories, even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. Yeah. So... Now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Let's eat some bacon omelet. I like Belgian the waffle. The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. All right. One Belgian go. waffle for the hungry girl, pronto. One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. I love the delicious anticipation of breakfast. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. There's no beer? <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Stick with bacon. I mean... Okay, drink more coffee. Green one, coffee! <laughs> this is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. In 
coming. Finally, my Belgian waffle is here. I hope you can, I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ugh. <clears throat> Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together oh, again. That's my fault, my and Chloe looking for a free oh. meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A good woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. Ah, uh, that faith when she gets only a slice thing. of bacon. Another reason to blow this town? Awkward. Awkward. Awkward what is this awkward. shit on the jukebox? That was mean. Now that that's out of the way. Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's such a daydream. I, don't like I want proof of you you want time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pocket. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pocket. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Okay, so let's see. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Okay. A bullet. Just like your necklace. That was so wrong, Max. Okay, really? psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. Okay, okay, let's analyze everything here. Yeah. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Alright, I wanna see. You need to... Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. One, two, three, four, five. There's seven things. And these are... 25 cents. No, they're not 25 cents. They have actually 80 people. And then she got busted in the display. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. I hope nothing lag happens. Okay, please. I don't want something bad to happen. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Your car keys. Duh! Way too easy! I need details! Describe my keychain. A panda cute key robot key. panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? The money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? I think we're gonna go with 86, 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yeah, seven yes, cigarettes. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Parking. A parking ticket. You yeah. know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Thanks to myself, I, I played it already. I played this episode, but it's just fun. Amazeballs. I literally just got chills all over my neck. Uh, <laughs> Damn, she's still in you love with powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. 
How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. Is that a Duran Duran reference? I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! <laughs> he sounds so now, geeky. pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? Yeah, well, that's a slap me, you. bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. This is sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So what are you waiting for? I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Okay, so trucker the drop trucker his drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Okay. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Yeah, I Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. They just leave their breakfast. What the heck? We can't even leave without finishing our breakfast. Okay, Supergirl. Let's, let's go to my in, secret place. In America, okay? Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. All right, we're gonna answer because this. Hey, Kate. Is have a What's up? Please don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Max. Thank if you'd you. rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. He doesn't even care about... I mean, they don't mess in the game, right? But it's just so tragic. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Yeah, but we did the right thing. Who is this? Clank Bauer. 
how did I know this? Because I already played this game, but I still want to play it again because um, it's just fun. And plus, I like the I like the art style this game has compared to the other games. I hope nothing bad happens. race keep up how many times are you going to get pissed at me this week that depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test welcome to american rust my home away from hell raw and rough it suits you max do you know how awesome this is i get my best friend back and she's also super sized we don't know for how long exactly why it's time to have fun now what do we do here again? I forgot. I already said earlier that I already played it, but then kidding? I only After remember yesterday. I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. It <sighs> freaks me out that you have one. I said where Don't I you can trust be. me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck! <laughs> you are so cute. Oh, I don't like you haven't changed enough. a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. All right. We can look for five bottles. But we're gonna go with the boat because this was the hardest part for me. Okay. Heavier than I thought. Ugh. Six Hello, like, bottle number one. We got like one, one bottle. There's one. There's two. There's gonna be more. Three more, I think. So there's four more. We're gonna go to the to the house and look. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. Boom, only three bottles left. All right, this is easy, guys. Just follow what I did here when you play the game. What is this? Oh, the point. Oh, right. Another bottle near the junkyard. No, oh, that's near the junkyard. Near the car jump, okay? Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Oh. We got three more. We got two more. We got two more bottles. Now, uh, this is easy because, you know, the bottle's right there. One more bottle to go. Alright, this is easy, guys. This is awesome. Follow what I did here, and last but not least, we got the bottle. But we're gonna. Oh, shit, shit. this is gonna fall off. Stupid bottle. Oh no. Oh shoot, bro. This time. Okay, I forgot. We have to find. Oh shoot, bro. We can do this. This is easy, guys. Come on. Just stay with me, okay? I know my voice is very annoying, but I'm your guide when I play this. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Yay, finally! Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. I love Thanks, I Max. Love Wait, one more for the road. 
We're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. I think we have to aim, aim Show lower. me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Wow, he aims like a firm shooter. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Okay, that's good. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. No! Wait, we have to reverse back time. Now, Max, where do I, think I we have aim? To aim just down. a tad lower. Ready to plank. Oh shoot, I forgot. No, no, this is not how you do it. This is not how you play now, the game. Max, I think we have I to aim. To your left. Chloe Bond has got this. Oh my god. Oh shoot, we're gonna. <sighs> now, Max, where do I aim? Up, right. Aim a bit to the right. Beep, beep. Laser tracking on. Oh my god, it's really right. Okay, sorry. Okay, like I said earlier, now, Max, uh, I'm not really good in detail above. sometimes. Right between the eyes. Okay, that's good. Right, it's Watch always out, right. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Now, where Give do we shoot? To shoot? I Max. think we can shoot with Let's the take out this wheel rim wheel rim right there. Taking out the wheel rim now. Oh, that's good. Hell yeah! She's so nice annoying when she said hell yeah! Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Where Dude, I need a target I before I shoot. Hey, I mean, shooting a tire is not bad, but it was really tire. dangerous. Uh, we almost Adios, got killed. spinning wheel of death. Oh. Uber cool. I like. I really oh, like their handshake. This is for reals. My best friend's a superhero. <laughs> this is awesome. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max. Oh no, she's having a bad vision again. This game is just magical to me. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia. Too much action. Oh Maybe yeah, I forgot to tell you this, but I for but this I kind of fun. I have to Scary inform you. I apologize for fun. the annoying background Let noises right here. Uh, that's just my <sighs> fan spinning around. With my of head. course, they're called fans. What head. do we do? Do we? I better go chat up Chloe. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. Why is this so? I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Oh, no. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute, you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? 
Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend. It's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Put the knife down, bitch. Please. All right. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Okay, we're gonna go with don't Come on, shoot. Girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. <sighs> I mess up. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. I'm sorry, sorry Chloe. Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I messed up. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here you go, Frank. You can't keep getting mad at me. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. Now you have me to protect you. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No, I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy without him eyeballing us, okay? Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. <laughs> I 
I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. Cringe. Why did they have What's to get stuck in a freaking um, oh shit trailyard? Okay, first thing first. Let not waste our time um you know fixing the sign stuff because it's doesn't work really. I can definitely use this bad boy. Okay, so first we gotta go to sh shut up, shut up. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Some bully team is running mad. It's like playing in my crowbar. Score. Score. All right, Max knows what we're doing. Now I can pull a total, my guy. All right, calm down. We can do this. Calm down, Chloe. Calm. Do a challenge right here. Max, get me out of here. Come down, Chloe. Come down. No. Awesome. It's not locked. So I think we have to take out the red wire. I think the red wire can pull. Now that's the right thing. Shit, she died out. Red wire, please. What? Come on! I did it! Oh, finally! All right, just follow my step and do what I did. Then boom! Okay, finally you saved me again. Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn, that was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but. I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Okay, okay we're back again. Uh, Blackwell Academy. We're in Blackwell Academy. Thanks for I, don't, I can't hear any sound. Right on time for my art okay, I can't hear it. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Mean explain what? what? Snow equals the ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos? I hate math. Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Yeah. We're back in action, baby. Yeah, baby. 
Do you think you need to leave? Alright. I'm gonna make things right. little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Alright. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? My guy is David Madsen. I... Max, can we talk? Oh. <laughs> I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, <laughs> I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Alright. Sorry. I saw Victoria and her friends. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Please, leave me alone. Oh, I need some help. Oh my god, this is really upsetting. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Not exactly. Never mind. Sorry. I have to go and work on my photo. You can talk to me anytime. And Max, can I talk to you about Kate? I assume you know about this viral video. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Um, uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Okay. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Vogue. 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 Dana, you are out of control. Turn Do you left, think Max will be pissed right. we're sitting at her Show desk? Me the love. Oh, I'm sure she'll How report. Better be nice. quiet, Victoria. You look like we have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. 
Max is such an attention whore. Oh my god, don't you, you dare know. call me a whore. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max, so I won't forget you. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can yeah. thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. <laughs> Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Oh my god, this is the most hardest part. Is this for real? Dude, man, I don't like this. Who is that up there? She can't die. She can't. Please don't tell me my life. I got I hope I can save this. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. End the recording, what a douche. I don't like the graphics too. They're all recording while people are... While Kate is like, you know, falling down. Keep... Going... Max... You... Can... Do it! Okay, the birds are blocking the way. May not be easy though, but at least we are gonna try. Let's go! This is hard because I think just like earlier in the game, you really have to pay attention to the details. You know, at a diner where we have to like predict 
what's inside Chloe's pocket. Yeah, this is exactly the same as the earlier one. Uh, because, you know, what are all. you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Oh, God. You matter, it's and really not hard. just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. I needed more time to investigate on my own first. But we have to be careful. You get to be careful. But I'm the one in the goddamn video. Too late, Max. You're too oh late. My God. What yes, are you saying? I know I screwed up. I'm sorry, Kate. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Me. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. It's Nobody. Hard. I say your sister. You told me about your sisters, especially the youngest one. What's her name? That's Lynn. She's only 10. She does have the best smile ever. I would me. hate to see her sad. Then make Lynn happy and step towards me. If she was here, you would know what to do. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Oh my God. Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, 28. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Please, come on. Please, please. please. Yes! Yeah! Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Finally! What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Oh my god, I did the right choice! Oh my god, I'm so proud! <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the best part. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. But I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled oh together to god. save a young girl's life. Ah. Uh... Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, <laughs> I take my duties seriously. That was I take so... the well-being of every student more seriously. I love that What part. happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. 
that's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. What about you, Peter? All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. Field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until Hell further yeah. notice. Yeah. See you in court. Yeah. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. Yeah. A friend and a student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think right, I can I use my power again. I think we can just find a statement. That was awesome. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. Okay, this is awesome. Finally! I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me, I'm a mess. You're glowing, seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Lauren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. Aww. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week.
why the soundtrack in this game so damn good? Yeah, we didn't really see me, but I'm really glad that he see her in the hospital. Not that in the hospital, I don't know. Her room. Oh, she That is creepy, bro. But we're gonna find out in the later episodes, so. Alright, finally! Okay, we saved Kate, and that's the good news. That's all that matters to me, anyway. I, I really like this game, because, you know, you can do all these kind of things. But the worst part is when you make one mistake, you know, you can't rewind things back because that's how the game works, that's how it's scripted. Yeah. Let's see, what's in here? What is the theory? Yeah. I, I have the game already. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and maybe I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll see you guys soon, okay? Take care, and get some good hygiene, uh, get hydrated, and, you know, enjoy life. Bye.